I would say um, kind of you know what I said before you don't have to fit into anybody's standards um, there's some there's there's something so much bigger than us and so take the pressure off yourself uh, do what you love whatever you're passionate about go for it work hard at it look take time to learn whatever that might be um, learn finances like this is just life advice I would say learn finances uh, learn social skills uh, pick a, ne a niche and go for it and then if you don't like it learn something else there's just take pressure off yourself man like you only live once we put so much pressure on ourselves Thanks. like just go for something and like just do it and if you fail don't be scared to fail is what I would say let's go like let's the go. biggest lessons in life come from failures mm -hmm. and so even if you take a, a huge L whatever that might be um, like a, a risk in business you, you invest a lot of money it goes south and doesn't work or like if you try to pursue a relationship with a woman it doesn't work out like whatever it might be don't be afraid to fail because like this, I mean, we take life really seriously and we should, yeah. but at the, at the end of the day, there's something so much bigger than us. And so like take the pressure off your shoulders, do whatever you're passionate about uh, and love others in the process. Okay, that's powerful, that's powerful, man. You eat like, you touch bases on some very key things, like even not being, being scared to fail. Like I heard, like I heard this beautiful quote that says, um, don't fail to try, but try, uh, don't fail to try, but don't, something like that. Try, like, don't, don't, try don't, to don't try to fail, but don't, don't fail, there you go. Don't, don't try to fail, but don't fail to try. So, like, if you're, if you're failing to try, it's like trying to literally hit 100% of shots that you're not trying to make. Mm -hmm. So, with that being said, a lot of people never start because they're afraid. They're afraid, exactly. and it's just like... You're, most of you are not even afraid of failure. You are afraid of success. You're actually afraid of succeeding and you're getting in your own way. Like, I will even be honest about this interview. When the idea came, it was instant. But when I started thinking about too much or started going too far into how would I do this or how would I do that, mm -hmm. it tried to stop me and the fear sure. came in and God had to tell me, look, Anthony, we're not trying to keep up with the Kardashians. The goal is to just start use what you have and just move on it and if it goes somewhere it goes somewhere if it doesn't it's okay you can always start something new exactly. get your feet wet and just hop in type exactly. thing exactly. and then all all of us are trying to keep up with the next person or we mm -hmm. think that i gotta be on this timeline i just want to even say to the young men you're not on a timeline what is Take life serious, but also know how to play too. No, also mm -hmm. know how to just be like, it is what it is because everything mm -hmm. is not going to go how we always want it to go. Exactly. Like I want to give an example yesterday where I met a young, uh, um, a, oh, I'm going to call her a young lady because she was young at heart, but she was 77 years old. Wow. And she said something to me where it blew my mind because we're in a Dollar General doing training and she mm -hmm. comes in and she seen me dancing to the music. Mm -hmm. And she, she was like, you just made my day. Mm -hmm. And like, she hugged me. And we don't know each other from that. Mm -hmm. And when she hugged me, I was just like, you just made my day. And she said something very vulgar. It was, it was hilarious. But <laughs> her being her age, I was just like, damn, once they get to that age, they, don't they, care anymore. they just don't care yeah, anymore. She said, she, said, she said, if I was 50 years younger, I, I would really make your day. I was like, oh, oh, oh wow, my God. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. <laughs> so she just went there. But after that, after getting past that, it was just like, man, God has to send a complete stranger to remind me that I sometimes take life a little too serious. Uh -huh. And like this woman didn't know me from Adam, and she she came back and hugged me at least seven or eight times. Wow. And her name was Heather. And with that being said, at one point she said, I love you so much. Wow. And instead of me just hearing Heather, I had to hear God's word through that saying, Anthony, I love you. So if you only just knew mm -hmm. how much I love you. It's okay to not know where you're going. Yeah. It's okay to not know what's going to come tomorrow. It's okay to not know. It's okay to not know. Mm -hmm. And it's okay to tell God that, Lord, I'm scared. Mm -hmm. I don't know where my future's going. I'm scared because I don't see where I'm going. Yeah. Type thing. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes we get, even as males, can you agree that, do you agree that we sometimes get caught up in pride as males? Oh, for sure. With, like, truly stating what's on the inside rather than just hope, like, rather than just letting it out. For sure. I would say, thing. like, even add to, like, all of this, like, don't compare yourself to others as well.